everybody, this is Jurassic Adventures, and in today's video, we will be customizing a Hammond Collection Velociraptor to be more accurate and less ugly than the original figure. Well, I do like the Hammond Collection Velociraptor, it is definitely not the prettiest thing to look at. I mean, the head sculpt is not great at all, especially those teeth. And what I plan to do is actually take this beautiful Extreme Damage head sculpt and actually swap it out um, with the Hammond Collection one. So what I'll be doing is cutting this off at the base right here, right where the articulation of the mouth starts, so I still retain that. And then I will be doing the same thing on the Hammond Collection one, so I can also retain this sort of uh, joint right here. And then we will be combining those and sort of sculpting around that and making it so it actually fits all together nicely. And this one is honestly more of an experimentation than a, a actual custom. I just am really curious to see what a different raptor head would look like on this Hammond Collection Raptor with all this articulation. So let's get into it without further ado. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this raptor now that it's fresh out the box is I'm just gonna start sanding down some of these joints. I also just heated up the head and popped it off real quick. And now what I'm gonna do very carefully is with the X-Acto knife, I'm just gonna start cutting down these little joints. They're very tiny, so you gotta be very careful not to cut yourself or even go too far into the plastic. Now what I'm doing is I'm just clipping away this sort of top jaw. I can be a little bit more destructive on the Hammond Collection one because I'm not gonna be reusing this head at all. So guys, I've done as much cutting as I possibly can do on this figure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna uh, start placing everything together and then I'm gonna start you know, sculpting the sort of um, seam with this green stuff putty. Now I have the new head affixed on with the green stuff putty, and this was actually such a pain to get on. I really had to make sure that this, the shape and everything was right and it didn't look too weird uh, and too sort of um, bulky or anything around here, and then I got it all textured up real nicely. So now we just have to wait for that to cure, but um, after that we can start priming and painting and hopefully this thing actually turns out pretty decent. So guys, when doing experimentation like this, uh, you're gonna run into some screw-ups, you're gonna do some things, and it's just not gonna work out, and you're gonna have to fix it later on. And that's exactly what happened with the neck here. It just got way too long from all that sculpted material, so what I had to do is once it dried, I cut it off, and I cut a lot of this sort of material down, and now it should be a pretty decent size. If I were to glue it back on and then uh, fill it all back up, it should look a lot better than what it previously looked like, and that's all just a part of this uh, sort of custom process and just kind of doing stuff and then fixing it or tweaking it later to make it better. So the head on the Raptor is now all good and replaced and it is ready for priming and painting. So I got this thing all primed and then I dry brushed the underbelly and a little bit of this sort of light grayish tan and now we can get into some other painting on this figure. So now for the airbrushing, we're gonna get into a little bit of this sort of um, darker yellow, sort of orange color, and that's gonna be for like the main undertone of the Raptor. So I built up a little bit more of some orange tones on the Raptor as well as that brown you saw me airbrushing and now it looks pretty good. Next what we are going to do is we are actually just going to take the fine detail brush and just get to doing a bunch of little sort of stripes and dots and all these little patterns that you do see on the Jurassic Park Velociraptor that can't really be done with the airbrush. So this Raptor is looking really good with all of those painted, brushed on dark patterns. Thing looks really, really accurate to the animatronic. But now what we're gonna do is sort of blend all of these colors together with just a little bit of brown running through the airbrush. Now that that sort of blending is complete, we can move into all of the brush details. First, we're gonna start painting the mouth in sort of a pink color. Now that we have that done, we're gonna start painting the teeth with a little bit of off-white. And then lastly, for the mouth, we're just gonna give it a nice wash with some brown ink. Next thing we're gonna do is just paint the claws in black. Now that the claws are done, we're gonna start painting the eyes and those are gonna be in sort of this light green. 
So the eye is almost done. There's only one more step, but it is looking awesome. I couldn't really film a lot of the eye just because um, it required so much concentration. It's such tiny details I did with this one, and you probably wouldn't have even been able to see it because of my hand obstructing the view um, of the camera. However, um, what I did do to it is I basically just painted it with a bunch of light and dark greens, and of course that black for the pupil slit, and uh, also a little bit of orange just all those colors that are in the jurassic park raptor eyeball i painted on there and i tried to capture as much of that detail as possible but finally what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add that little light uh now that the eye is done there's just one more thing to do with this repaint and that is just to gloss up the mouth the eyes and the claws and that, guys, is it for this Hammond Collection Velociraptor Custom and Repaint. I'm thrilled with how this thing came out. That head looks really, really great. Much better than the original, and this paint job is one of the best paint jobs I've ever done on any dinosaur. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Jurassic Adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.